Well, we're so lucky to welcome into the program a fan favourite here, Tamaiti Martin, Warriors playmaker, out injured at the moment, but hopefully returning very, very soon. Tamaiti, welcome back to the show. Great to have you on. Um, we'll get an injury update in a moment, but first tell us, being back home, taking uh, the Warriors, of course it was a Tigers home game, but being back in the Waikato on the weekend, how cool was that? Yeah, that was cool. Um, yeah, hi guys, how are you going? Um, it was cool to cool to get down there. I was um, telling the boys this morning in all of last week how how jealous I was that they got to play in, in the in the hometown stadium, and um, hopefully they can they can we can get another game there one day because I thought the crowd was 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 you know um, really good, and um, you know I think I think we've said it a few times already, but. It's been huge for for Tigers to take one of their home games yeah. down there for us. For the things um, the boys done over the few last few years. So um, yeah, thanks thanks to the Tigers, mate. Uh, I couldn't help but notice that when you were having your your troubles when you left the Queensland, you were playing a bit of uh, club footy for Odo. I think if there was a chance you're probably going to play for the Moolies on that pitch, wouldn't you? <laughs> <laughs> not not the way I was going. Actually, <laughs> I had a couple of games for Odo there and. Um, one of the games I had to play against, um, he's with the Dolphins now, Valence the Fuddy, he was playing for three for Tech and he, um, he, he, he shut down my rugby dreams real quick because he <laughs> ran over me a few times. <laughs> what position were you playing in rugby? I was playing centre. I was playing centre and fullback. And the one game I played centre, I had to play against um, Valence and yeah, <laughs> yeah I had my- my tail between my legs that day. <laughs> <laughs> he's a he's a big talented guy, isn't he? Uh, tell us about yeah. that broken leg, broken fibula um, in early April. How are you getting on? How close to returning to the field and pulling the jersey on once again? Yeah, it's been a it's been a different kind of break. Was, at the start, it was anywhere between eight to twelve weeks, but um, with the injury that it was, it wasn't a clean break, so it. it um, fractured and then there was shattered parts all through it and then um, there's a long crack going down it as well so they always knew it was going to be a bit difficult but it never seen one like it so um, me being me I always find some kind of different injury to get I can't just have a normal injury but um, yeah it's going, it's going yeah, we're well on track now um, there's a few uh, set, setbacks but um, it's been all good now turn the corner a bit and hopefully next week I can I've only I've Going back in with the team this week, uh, running around, but um, getting through the contact session stuff is um, all in un- underway, and hopefully next week I can get back get back on the field. With a niggly with a niggly injury like that, does that mean you get to avoid running? I mean, what have you been able to do? What have you not been able to do? Are you jacked from pumping iron in the gym? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a. Um, I'm not very strong, so I got to work on a little bit of gym stuff. A lot of the next year, I'm still not strong, but um, I yeah done a lot of gym work and, and off feet conditioning. Which um, yeah, if you know about it, it's all the, the rowing ergs and the um, <laughs> ski machines, and, and they're just they're not really fun. Like you, said, you don't <laughs> you don't need that kind of fitness on the field. So well, they make it, I don't know, it's more mental than anything. But um, yeah, put on a few kgs, which hopefully I'm good kgs, but. Uh, we'll soon see when I get back on the field how, how it all works out. <laughs> you'd be you'd rather be running, I'd imagine, than mucking around for ski egg. So, is, is it this week? <laughs> Maybe New South Wales Cup first, uh, or just he's back into it? Or week. next week? Yeah, next week. Um, I, had a, I had a talk with Webby um, a, a while ago. Now, um, we'll just uh, just see how we go. And there's a lot of time from when that set was to, to when I'll be back playing. So. I have a probably, probably a better chat with him next week. As if it is looking like I'm going to play next week, probably have a better chat with him next week and, and you know, that goes because round six is the last time I played and and anyone knows yourself, especially as, as game fitness is it's pretty important and it's hard to get back to you more than running on on the sidelines with the rehab crew, but um, getting the game fitness back is is hard to do unless you're actually playing. So um, we'll suss that out and. Yeah, hopefully, because even our New South Wales Cup team's going well. I don't even know if I'll squeeze myself back in there. <laughs> you, you mentioned that everyone's going well, mate. What's it like around HQ at the moment? Obviously, coming in on a Monday, it must be quite exciting after another victory and just, just a bit of feel around the place. And obviously, when you contrast that to when your teams aren't going well. Yeah, it is. It's the whole place. You know, it's not just the players or the coaches. It's, 
you know, upstairs runs a bit better. You're selling a lot more merch, and everyone just seems a lot more happy. It's just, you know, I seen a, a post the other day about the media team really enjoying their job because they're, you know, they're posting out wins all the time and all the <laughs> comments are positive. So, you know, it's, just, it's a good vibe around the place, and it makes training a lot a lot better. And I think the <clears throat> even the, even the win on the weekend, um, they, they, there's the old saying that you you learn more from your losses and um, the game on the weekend, even though it was a win and the boys are happy with the two points, it's it's a different kind of feeling after that because they know that they didn't play as well as they wanted to and and the little things that, that they need to um, work on is, is, is really easy to fix. So probably the uh, um, that's even even though they got the win there, they really um, knuckled down today in, in all the video sessions because um, they know that. Um, you know, playing against your top eight teams the way we probably performed on the weekend is probably not going to cut it. So, um, it's a good, good eye opener. Um, yeah, the boys are it's going to be, it's going to be a good game Friday after to what I've seen today. When you look back at the teams and the environments that you've been in throughout your NRL career, Penrith, Queen, uh, North Queensland, uh, and the Broncos as well. Do you notice a difference between teams and environments and cultures? Or when you get to this level and it's high performance, is it all very similar? It's just obviously the players and the coaches that change. Yeah, I, I find it um, pretty similar, to be honest. Once you're at a, yeah. at a certain level, um, all the things are kind of the same and um, players are all kind of the same. It's just, yeah, like you said, different coaches, different players and Probably a bit more different feel being back here in New Zealand. You know, the other three clubs I was at, all all in Australia, were all pretty similar. But I think if you go um, fan base and, and, and things like that, it's a, it's a little bit different. And at the moment, the weather, <laughs> the weather's not too um, flash as, as it normally is. And I can get everybody the air force from all the Aussie boys on <laughs> on how good the weather is. But um, you know, I enjoy I I enjoy. Um, a little bit of rain and it makes the makes the sunny days seem more sunnier. So I enjoy the little bit of rain. But what's uh, obviously being back home? Obviously, a big difference to, between being over in uh, Queensland or, or Penrith. What's what's the days off? Do you do you get back uh, down home, uh, go hunting and fishing in your days off, or is it uh, parked up? Obviously, the leg has been a bit restricting as far as activities. I'd imagine. Yeah, the the last um, well since the injury. Um, it hasn't been doing it, it hasn't hasn't been doing any, any travelling. So, um, before that, I was here yeah, every every day I had off. I was I was shooting down home, and um, just before the, I broke my leg, actually was was during the raw the raw season, so <laughs> was going hard on deer hunting, and um, I've missed most of the winter pig hunting. I've had my first had my first hunt last week, just because um, walking around on the uneven ground and with the leg and stuff has been. A bit tough, but then also having um, me and my partner just had a baby six months ago, so um, the injury came at a good time because I got to spend a bit of time at home with you know travelling away with with the boys on on the way to the Aussie. You've gone for three, four days, so you miss a lot of um, so parenting time. Mm. Uh, whether that's good or bad, I'm not too sure, but <laughs> I've enjoyed it so far. What have been the highlights? Been right. Six months old. Are there any, any mini highlights? Um, just, just how many nappies they go through. <laughs> you know, there's been a few close calls and I've, and I've changed the nappy too early and it's, it's decided to try and hit me in the, hit me in the chest. But luckily the, the reactions, the reaction time is still there and I sort of just sort of cover it up. <laughs> oh, that is so good. Um, and just finally, like when you, when you're finished out with rugby league, will you end up back home as someone who loves the outdoors? You're not much of a city slicker, I imagine. Will you end up living back down there in Tokoro? Yeah, definitely. Mm. I'll, um, I'll be down there somewhere down out Tarawa ways, and um, it's just on. I'm working with um, Jerry at the moment on um, what pathways I need to do to, to do something like that because. Um, my sort of my goal, yeah, like you said, I don't really like being in the city too much, but then my partner does, so it's trying to trying to get her over the line to enjoy the you know enjoy the smell of cow cow food and horse <laughs> food and all that kind of stuff. Trying to get to her to enjoy that because I think after footy, I'd like to do some sort of farming, something some sort of farming, um, get into that kind of that kind of stuff in the middle of nowhere, which would be nice. Cool, but um. 
yes, it's getting my partner and, and baby <laughs> that over the line is probably the, the more difficult difficult part. But uh, yeah, we'll see, we'll see. We'll cross that line when when we get there, and hopefully it's not too soon. I've still got two more years on my contract, but I hope I have to cut that short. Might have to we'll settle for the get. mecca that is Hamilton City. I was going to say, just <laughs> ease ease into it. Hamilton, and just keep drifting. Keep drifting, Sal. <laughs> yeah, and it keep, and it keep, sli- yeah, keep sliding down. <laughs> Absolutely brilliant to get you on to Mighty. Thank you so much for your time. Um, all the best over the coming week and a half, and we can't wait to see you out there. SENZ. It's Kiwi for Sport.